Hollywood, California. Meltdown Comics, Nerd Melt Theater, Harmontown is now in session. Please welcome to the stage the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon. Shit, I, I came in over here. Be ha gonna be alright. Family, chop chop, chipping each chop, hip hop to the stop. Family, Oscar Knight, red carpet out of sight. My name's Red Carpet John. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, did, you come to, did you come to Mother Lawn? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, I got my tuxedo on. I'm interviewing the stars. <laughs> Red Carpet John is a... Uh, is he any relation to uh, MC John who mows the lawn? Of course. <laughs> it's probably the same guy. It's, uh, is he related? It's the, it's the same guy in a jacket. Now, expl- explain this to me, Dan. You go through the effort of putting on a tuxedo and you don't bother to, to button the, your, your clip-on bow tie. It's, it's, more, just, it's, it's more just... about physics. <laughs> It's more about what can be done. Uh, I, I believe I bought this tux, uh, the, the first Oscars I actually, uh, or Emmys or something I got to go to. And I think uh, I fluctuate weights a little bit. So you don't know when a shirt's going to be able to button or not. Oh, so the, it was the shirt. You couldn't get the shirt Yeah, it's closed. actually the shirt. Yeah, the bow tie actually doesn't, it doesn't go around anything. It doesn't, it's just, a, as you know. Um, Family. <laughs> Did you watch any of the Oscars, Harmon? Yeah, we watched a little bit. I like the opening. And I, 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 the opening, you know, so it's, it's NPH, so he's coming out. So, we, of course, we know. We know what they're going after. They're going after the Hugh Jackman uh, Oscars that I wrote. Right? Right. They're pursuing that. Okay, we know. I won an Emmy for writing those Oscars. Uh, look it up. Uh, 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 so NPH is good if you can't get Hugh, you know, go, go to go to him, and uh, came out. It was it was. Did you see the opening? I did not. It was pretty cool. It was it was a nice. It was, like they actually they did. It, it, I don't know. Did I don't he, know. Fucking watch it. Did he do a song and dance? It, yeah, he just he just he just did a straight up song. I mean, it had he had humorous elements, and it was. Uh, but it was. Um, uh, it was. It was just. It was. It was a nice like. It was both uh, sincere and like totally respectful of the modern world, and also like you could, you felt it did a good job of like making it feel like you were watching something worth watching live. And this, uh, as we increasingly start to ask the question, why are we watching this shit? Like I thought it was a an opener that like really answered that question. Like like check it out, this is nice. Uh, uh, Do- Doogie's doing his thing, and uh, and, and like they, they did like special effects that blended the live action with the thing. Um, in a huge uh, kind of fuck you to uh, Billy Crystal, like they just did a kind of like <laughs> just a a little a quick like thrown over the shoulder like little visual montage of him like sitting in little uh, things. It wasn't a fuck you. I'm just saying it was like yeah, that's the, the less is more, and uh, it was it was really nice like interplay with like animation on the screen and stuff. At the end of it, everyone liked it, and I said uh, I said eh, you know, there's no standing ovation. <laughs> And then I, <laughs> did, Hugh, did Hugh get a standing O? Uh, yes. And uh, and by Hugh, I mean you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought you said you, and I had no problem with it. Uh, <laughs> uh, you, your, your ears filtered out the hood yeah, part of that. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, old I, Hugh I, Jackman. I looked at my phone later. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I was in the mid- was a, my, my, I didn't hear my phone beep when it beeped, but I saw what time the timestamp was, and it was as that thing ended. And it was a text from uh, Rob Schraub uh, that said, hmm, no standing O. Nice. Yeah. It's nice to know we're still keeping it real. <laughs> the 81st Oscars. Let's see what I got in here, huh? All right, so what's the deal with uh, Oscar night? Uh, uh, I mean, what, what is it, some kind of gala? No. Um, it just says, hmm, no standing O in my notes. That's it. <laughs> Did I, did I, don't I, know, I, I don't know what I thought was going to be in there. The Gettysburg Address. Oh, it seems like we hold some truths to be self-evident. Not the Gettysburg Address. It's not the Gettysburg Address. When, when, you, were, when you were at your Oscars, how, well, how many Oscars was that ago? How many years ago? Those are the 81st, so it's got to be six years ago now. And uh, did you watch it from the wings, or were you out in the crowd? Or? We were watching it. 
think I've told this story a lot. We were watching from a tiny old school CRT television um, backstage, and it was awesome because. It, it we were in these shitty rented tuxes because we we didn't have time to go home and they just like they have like this tux kind of service for all there's so much crew that works on that show so everyone's working really hard so they just like get, get you get like a, a number and you go up to this wardrobe floor and they just give you a, a tux for the night like if you're a crew um and uh so we had these like laminates on and we had these shitty baggy tuxes on and we were just watching from this walk-in closet on this little television screen Watching watching Hugh Jackman go through the thing, and I I I, I swear I broke like a bone in my foot from jumping up and down because he was nailing it. All right, it's not a, it's not a good story. It's just a really fun time in my life. And every once in a while, Ben Schwartz, who the, the, now it seems funny that that he was one of the Three Musketeers because now he's like a famous actor is on Parks and Rec and um, and of course House of Lies <laughs> with Don Cheadle. Is that the name of that show? Every once in a while, he'll he'll email like a photo of of Ben uh, Bruce Valanche like sleeping in a corner or something that we took uh, that we that we took from back then. We were just kids. We didn't know what we were doing, and Hollywood loved us for it. <sighs> I Jeff, t- I could go on with my Hollywood stories. Did I, did I, did I, stop me if I haven't. I'm, I probably have. I, I told you my story about the one time I went right when I met that crazy lady. Yeah, yeah. You t- a crazy lady picked you up in a bar like Midnight Cowboy. No, no. Took you- at, 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 uh, getting like at the hair. hair oh, at hair the hair salon. salon. Yeah. And then she proceeded. Yeah. Yeah, I have told us. She was a crazy lady, and you had yeah. to like bail out of the cab. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, yeah she, she. It was very clear at like hour three that she had had pills, and then the booze was was like combining, and and she she hulked out. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember why she was what, why she was there? Why she, she was, was going? Uh, she had previously been nominated for art department or something like that, or like a, uh, like art set design or something like that. That must be a weird haunted life to lead. If you, do you really just get to go if you win anything? Like if you, if you drew Shrek's balls, do you just get, <laughs> you get to just keep going to the Oscars I, I th- every year? I think if, you're, if you've been nominated, you're allowed to go, but the, you know, we, we were sitting way up yeah. top. Like you're not down on the main Because even just watching it, even just having touched it a little bit, I got I mean, I don't know if it's jealousy or just like what it is, but it's definitely like it. It, 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 there's a haunted feeling. I want to be back there at the Kodak. <laughs> the smell of grease paint. Um, the, uh, here's what I want to know. Okay, so a, a couple of years ago, so some of you kids are young enough that you, you, you were around, like you probably don't remember that they would do the in memoriam uh, at the uh, Oscars, and there was, <laughs> there was a time before um, they told everybody, don't, don't clap for each one. Especially don't clap for your favorites, because they're all dead. See, so it's starting to get weird. But it was like for forever, that was just the tradition. Yeah. They would just show people, you know, and then Ernest Borgnine would come up and there would be like this, like an applause break, and then they'd fly through three, like, Timothy the Bone Man, key grip, or whatever. And like, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Did you key grip for Ernest Borgnine? Because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, and then, like these, you know, these rousing applause. Um, but so, so they did away with that. It was probably a good move, great yeah. cultural advancement that we made. Uh, I don't know about the and the Oscar goes to as opposed to and the winner is. That seems a little empty as far as like correctness. But uh, uh, I do, I do think that we evolved when someone said, "Let's tell them don't applaud yeah. until after all the death." Um, <laughs> however, th- th- now it's even weirder. You got just like th- these these faces come up. And, it, you know, totally su- – you kind of, like, brace yourself for Robin Williams because he's the headliner death. Um, and you're like, are they going to save him for last? How does this work? You always, we're always asking these morbid questions, aren't we, during these things? Because, it, because you're, 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 bl- you're blending two worlds that don't belong, presentation, entertainment, and, and, and the inevitability of, uh, of the corporeal world. Uh, and, uh, yeah, where do, where do you put Robin in that if, you, if you're the, if you're they the put a, I think I imagine they went alphabetically, or I don't know what they did. I actually don't – he, he was. He, I, I know they oh, did. Really? They, Chronological. it, it, chronologically, in order of death. <laughs> How did you know that? Mike Nichols was last. Okay. All right. Two points to terminal line. Okay. But okay. So 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 when you're watching, well, yeah, Mike Nichols, Lauren Bacall. Like, I, I don't know if we say this every year, but it was a it was a tragic year. Um, tra- tragic in terms of the amount of fame <laughs> that, that died. <sighs> Yeah, it's, it's hard yeah. to honor the, yeah. the the famous dead without like feeling weird because uh, you're like, am I am I is this am I what what am I rooting for? I didn't know them, but the um, 
so you're bra- but the people were like everything was silent. There was no like okay, we're well, Robin Williams. Okay, great. But the weird for three or four people, there's always like this weird sound. You hear like the sound. Come on up in a second. Let me finish my point. You, you, you hear like this. Uh, you, like it'll say Mike Nichols, and then you'll just hear like 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 two or three people like somewhere in the back of the house. Like, <laughs> so we know that that's not like Mrs. Nichols, because no one's going to express their connection to the the death with applause. So, and we also know it's a, therefore a human being that ha- that knows that they're they're breaking rank. So it was just like the world's biggest psycho Mike Nichols fan. Yeah. Like, 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 fuck these other dead people. You go, Mikey. Like, like, what, who are these? It's so weird. I would say, I would say it's somebody who's A, a huge Mike Nichols fan. B, somebody who doesn't like the no applause rule. Like, like, like no, I'm allowed to applaud Mike Nichols because he, he wrote The, the Graduate or whatever. Drawing. Right. It's like some kind of weird career. Probably there's writers in the audience like, like yeah. applauding or something for Billy Wilder. I don't know. 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 <laughs> are you are you a little little ennui that you're not invited back this year? That you're not. You're <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, I when I was at the Oscars, I was a I was a lowly Keebler elf backstage. I was honored to do my duty. I wrote a little bit of patter for Jack Black and Jennifer Aniston, and I uh, wrote that Emmy winning opening. And uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, thanks. If you want to look it up, I, I won an Emmy for writing the Oscars, which is kind of cool. Um, can, 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 you, can you sing a, a little bit of it for us? you remember your favorite line from it? Uh, everything is awesome. <laughs> everything. I can't remember. <laughs> the Lonely Island guys were, were on stage tonight at the Oscars. Okay. Jack, Jack Black was in the opening. Wow. He, 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 he kanye the the NPH opening. It was kind of fun. <laughs> he did like a sort of pseudo Jack Black rap. About, it was fun. I, I, I find myself wondering if they wrote that for Kanye and then uh, got Jack to do it, and Jack said, I can't rap. And then they're like, well, kind of sing rap. Like, I, I, if you watch it, like, I feel like I, we're kind of hoping that Kanye could come and just watch it. And <laughs> we were in line in the rain, Dan. We weren't late. Um, <clears throat> speaking of in memoriam, uh, feels like uh, w- r- uh, weird to not mention that our, our, our friend, a friend of so many of us, uh, Harris Whittles, uh, 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 was is, is lost now. Um, it was. It couldn't have been a more tragic uh, passing. Totally, pro- I mean, very much, just tragic, just accidental. Like, like I and I really like, you know, I would like to take one moment to say to people who, every time, like somebody, when somebody's death involves a car, you don't like, you don't divert your attention away from who the person was and 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 whether you respect them or not or whether you'll miss them to like spend a lot of time about automobile statistics and the industry and insurance and stuff and here's a number you can call make sure you're insured it, like leave it the fuck alone if somebody ha- like, like like there are everybody takes cars everywhere every day cars kill all kinds of people uh, writers do heroin, cocaine, they drink, they, people have different uh, addictions and struggles, and th- they are, in addition to that, human beings. And uh, if, you could, if, you could, if you don't know the person and they died in a way that is symbolic for you politically, like, could you, could you I mean, like, think for a second before you leave that Instagram caption or that, or the, or that tweet, you know? It's like, it's not... It's not your time to work some shit out. Like it's uh, it's just a guy that died, and it's like it's no more, it's no more cool on God's part to kill somebody through a uh, a horrible um, you know like pressing addiction than it is uh, to kill them with an anvil or cancer or anything. It is all part of this big shitty world that we are all like united in. And um, uh, uh, Harris was. Uh, like if you go, if you go online and you're gonna see, like how uh, like incredibly like tragic it is that that he would be taken from us at such a young age and he 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 was not irresponsible and he did not make bad choices and he he was very smart and very self aware and um, just very 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 funny and very um, like just a just a good guy and he just had a bad accident and and now he's gone and this is the way that life is 
And um, and so go go. I mean, I've, I I retweeted like an, a, a, an article that was a really nice like kind of trying to find the words of who was he, what you know, why was he so cool, and why did we not notice, um, you know, what 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 labels to put it on, how to describe him. You, you, that's one of the nice things about this new podcast universe is you can you can just type in his name and you can go find him on so many podcasts like telling really amazing stories about about struggling with his addiction for instance about about all kinds of things like he was a linchpin of this community and we are uh, like so many of us are just really really shaken by this one it's a it's a it's a it's a tough one and the, you want that bargaining phase to be okay so let's all make up our minds call your sponsor put this bumper sticker on your thing and wear this ribbon it, that's that's just bargaining, and it's as healthy as denial, and it's as uh, but ultimately acceptance is the only thing that's gonna be honest. Like like like, who gives a fuck how they died? It's not important. It's not who they were, and it's not it's not it, there's no such thing as a deserved death or anything like that. So please just like like notice how cool the guy was. Go 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 listen to his stories. He was a he was an old soul, I guess. I, I, like I had no he idea was, he was that young, really. I mean, I I, that was a, I, that's a horrible way to find out yeah. that, that that somebody was thirty years old. I didn't know either. He was a, he was just a kid when he he started working on the Sarah Silverman show after I left. He kind of arrived there um, as 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 I left to to sort of fill that vacuum. And he was he was literally a child, um, and was just like you you can't swing a cat in this city without without finding somebody that has a a good story about him, and uh, and now it's all laced with uh, with this stuff. And there's nothing there's nothing to do but grieve and uh, and, and accept it. Uh, sports corner? No, I'm kidding. There's no sport. <laughs> so, so. Uh, <laughs> I do. I, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, so um, uh, oh, oh oh, let's uh, let's bring out Dino Stamatopoulos, who I haven't seen since he. Uh, <laughs> I just want to say that um, I actually met Harris here um, once, and uh, you know we kind of shared a moment. And uh, I can't believe he's gone. Humble brag. <laughs> 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 yeah, so there's a lot of humble bragging going on in the wake of his his uh, his passing. Do you see this? I um, I fucking <laughs> peed in my pants. What do you mean? Tell I, us about it. Well, I got here and I had to pee really bad, and. Uh, and and the guy out there, he was really nice. He's like, you know, Dan's already out there. Oh, he's he's out there. Like, oh, I don't know. I'll, I'll I don't be up know, any minute. I don't know for some reason. I felt like he ran a tight ship. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> what's, and he, was, what's he talking about himself? He'll just he'll, he'll, he'll need me any second. <laughs> so I uh, yeah I went and and I took a piss and uh, and I zipped up too soon. I was still peeing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fucking nightmare. So not really peeing your pants. I mean you. Uh, no, I actually peed in my pants. You peed, you peed on them. Is it, or, or, or you say, oh, you say you just had more pee to do, and then you zipped up your pants. Just and you zipped just them up, and peeing. I kept going. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was stupid. I don't know if I've ever done that. They say that no matter how you shake or dance, the last drop is always in your pants. <laughs> that sounds like something MC John would say. <laughs> well, keys to the parrots, and the parrots to the keys. <laughs> So I was just Sometimes at, uh, uh, at a Little place. Dom's, and they put my uh, drink to go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Welcome back. I haven't Thank seen you. you. This is the only way we can get together. I know. I know. You're working a lot, and I'm just drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I, you, you're you, traveling? You've been back for a couple of weeks now, and I haven't seen you at all. Yeah, you like you go off you traveling the world, Canada and yeah. Canada and Canada. <laughs> you were in, in New York and, working for Smigel. Yeah, yeah. On the in- Insult Comic Dog Insult Show. Insult Comic Dog Show. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, it needs work, but I think it'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what's uh, compare him to me uh, vertically, hierarchically, he, um, in terms of talent? He, uh, uh, I could sneak out easier of, out of his show than your show. So he's more talented. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's, he's, he doesn't notice you're gone. Yeah, right? he doesn't yeah. notice I'm gone. Are, are you sad to be back? Because you were living the high life out there, man. I Yeah, I mean, it was ridiculous. I visited I, Dino out there, and, and it, 
tell me if I'm wrong, you would work a little bit at the office, then you would take your work away to... The I lo- barely at the office. I was like, you know, I can't really work here. I'm, I, I, I like working at a bar. And they're like, yeah, wh- whatever works for you. And, uh, you know, I would just get drunk and write. And, uh, and then you would go eat French food. Yeah, and go eat French food and fuck uh, boys and girls. Because and <laughs> you were fucking everybody out there. Yeah, it turns out that everyone in fucking New York is beautiful, including me, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have known? It was ridiculous. So just being in the city made you extra sexy? Yeah, I don't know how. I think people go out there because they want to have an adventure. They want to, like, I want to fuck things up. I want to, I want to you know, deal with ugliness and shit. And then and, and there I am. Hmm. <laughs> with a, with a, with trousers soaked in your own urine. Yeah, urine. I mean, this is not going to go away tonight. <laughs> there's, there's that much? I can't, I can't see it. Let me Take a look at this. You see it? You can yeah. see it from there. Well, you, you're wearing kind of pea-colored pants almost. <laughs> no, these were white oh, before no. I got here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of pea. You gotta you gotta subscribe to the to the live feed for stuff like that. <laughs> you really do. That's a, that's I'm a, gonna take the cap off because su- this if, scotch is too hot. If you did not subscribe to the live feed, you're really missing out on a pee stain right now. <laughs> uh, how are, how have you guys been doing? <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing good. It's really hard to write community this year. It's like you're extra, doing it. You're hard. doing it for the fans. You don't really want to write it. <laughs> Seriously, admit it. I uh admit I, it. <laughs> no, you I, really don't want to write it. You want to do it for the people. That's that's admirable. I will admit that I don't. I don't. I'm not a hundred percent sure I did it for my own um, joy. I I, 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 I. But the last thing I'm going to do is lay it on the fucking fans' doorstep. <laughs> they're, 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 no, they're, it's they're not. They're your... watching season six. They're like, this sucks. And then there's a footnote. Like, Dan <laughs> says it's your fault. <laughs> that's not what I was saying. I'm saying that you. Uh, that you want to do it, you want to do it for your family. I think I was like through, through God knows what I I I, I do feel, and uh, the other thing is you're listening to my running commentary while I'm in the process here, so you know don't I mean what, I mean go, just feel this in the moment with me because I don't I'm never right I don't know I never know what the fuck I'm talking about but right now I feel like. I am I am doing a horrible job and like a couple weeks ago I was like I'm a god I did it and then a couple weeks before that I, and I swear it goes because it just depends on I'll see a cut and I'll be like oh it's working okay and that's then, that's how God works yeah <laughs> that's why there's tsunamis it's like I fucked up yeah <laughs> wait he fucks up and then does a tsunami to like I, to, I don't know okay. what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I, mean, I was just I, happy I, I, I turned and you were laughing. I, I, <laughs> and the guy goes like, oh, fucking God damn it. I made too many people again. <laughs> Tsunami time. I definitely just feel, I feel the burn. It feels like, it feels like doing a crunch. Like, I just feel like, for better or for worse, like, I'm like, I'm working. I and feel I, like we need to do a telethon for the fans and say... Lay off him. Let him. <laughs> let him not work on community for a while. I, I think the, the, I'm, this is I'm a problem joking, that solves I'm itself. Joking. It'll you know <laughs> if it's a bad season, then it will kind of go away. But <laughs> but uh, the I just I, I I think that it's just I think if you did anything for six years, the sixth year would be like Jesus Christ. Like if you like, am I in the zone? I mean, I was like 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 three three of the first seven characters are gone. So now, and what am I doing with the remaining four? And what am I doing with the new two? Am I Am I servicing them? Am I exploring them? Can it ever really? I try to. I try to like psych myself out and sell myself. It's a, it's just a new show, so just and I, I, I just dimensionalize the characters. Or is that my job? Or am I supposed to just be telling jokes? And I, I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. And then I and then I'll watch a cut and I'll be like, like so. And Tuesday I'll be like, I did it. It's the best season ever. Can't believe it's on the internet instead yeah, of TV. That's and, the way you do it. And then on Wednesday I'm like fucked up yeah i did it real bad yeah <laughs> i want to go home <laughs> my wife hasn't seen me like so, like now i just sleep on my couch in the office like i like like last week she saw me on valentine's day which was saturday and then she saw me the following saturday i was slept at my office every day and it I, and each you're night gonna was stay a, together forever <laughs> that's the way to do a relationship i don't know i got some pretty shitty texts <laughs> uh, we should we should we should we should read our text messages uh, with with to 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 jazz music. No, I 
I don't. I don't know what that would be. I don't know what that would. How that would work. Do you know? On, on, on another note, can you tell the story about that couple that you were, you told me about? That, that. Oh yeah. Well, there. Well, th- for some reason, um, you know, I go out to New York and I'm attractive. I already said that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's baffling to me. And uh, there's a, a 23 year old couple, and they want to have a threesome with. You know, I, I guess they want to fuck their Say yours grandfather. truly. That's a good way to say yeah. <laughs> Yours truly. Or their grandfather. Okay. Oh, the, I yeah. fucked up. Okay, I stepped on your grandfather punchline. No, no, it wouldn't have gotten a laugh anyway. <laughs> I'm not uh, but st- anyway. Uh, Smigel would have given you space. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, I don't know if it's, a, if it's a good story or not. I just, I, um, uh, uh, that, that, so, so we were going to fuck one night. And, well, and first off, where, where did you meet them? At, like Lucian, or was where, where, where no uh, at the library bar? Okay, yeah. So how does it? How does it? How does it? For those of us who forgot, because it hasn't happened in a little bit. <laughs> wh- how, how does? How, what does it sound like and look like when a couple ch- chooses you? I'll tell you what it sounds like. It sounds like the girl is going. Yeah, we're really open to everything. We're, we're we want to we want to experiment. We want to have sex with the grossest shit in the world and all that. And the guy's like, yeah, whatever she wants. Like, it's, uh, well, um, <laughs> it's either. I don't, it's I don't know. I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, how, how you doing? Can I buy a drink? Or and then uh, so. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so. No, I mean, the, the guy. The guy obviously wasn't as into it as as the yeah. girl. I'd rather hear that story though than the opposite, <laughs> where, yeah. where the where the woman is like, "Okay, am I doing all right for you, Bob?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so, in the middle of that, I was like, "Well, you guys figure it out. I I'm going to meet my friends and I'm going to go have dinner." And they went out and they got coke. And of course, you know, I started getting texts like, "My, f- you know, for you kids out there." Uh, my phone was ringing off the hook. I don't know if you know what that means. <laughs> it's an, but, it's uh, an expression. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Where are you? And I'm like eating fucking Peking duck and getting really fat and farty. And uh, and finally, I just said, look, I can't f- fart through your our threesome, you know. <laughs> Uh, let's do it tomorrow after I take a shit, right? <laughs> when you guys are really turned on. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, newsflash, the guy doesn't want to fuck me anymore. And uh, and the girl breaks up with the guy. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> oh! and, and now she wants to have a twosome. Now she wants to have a twosome for the rest of our lives. All right, okay. Uh... And I, you know, I told her I was like, you know, I mean, like, come on, I, I, uh, I have a kid, I have a, I have eight thousand uh, fucking animals and frogs I fuck, you know. I mean, I don't know. I just it... meaning you're you're you you're you're an untamed stallion, is what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to put it that way because I'm humble, but. Uh... <laughs> So, uh, but you know, well, then we had some good sex, and you know, I have her pictures on my phone. You want to see them? <laughs> I can do. We, can we put them on the feed? Or no? yeah, I don't care. So that, our, that... our show just becomes four chan. Like, <laughs> put put her address up there. Let's, uh, you dump. might have you might have to like scroll through a few of my dicks. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Dino has seven dicks. <laughs> I got I got a few more since New York. <laughs> I, <laughs> that I, fucking town's full of them. <laughs> I remember one time you were talking, you were telling some story about how you had to delete a couple of things on your phone to take a picture because there was so much porn on it or something. In my mind, you said porn, but you must have said something else that was like ambiguous, like 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 sex movies or something. Because I I remember I I just heard I just thought. I was like, really? You on your phone? Like that's that's interesting. It's like just for using in the bathroom or like No, like, no, I mean, you know, like and then you're, every and, now and, well, I mean, Okay, but, go ahead. But you, you, you remember. The, and, then, and then you're like, "Well, yeah, I don't know. Well, whatever. Uh, whatever." And, and I was like, "Well, can, can, can I see?" And you're like, "Yeah." And you started playing one. I'm like, "That's a, you, the person <laughs> that I know." I thought you meant from the internet. <laughs> I thought you meant Debbie does Dallas. <laughs> I know. I was like, well. Uh, That's Natalie from marketing. 
<laughs> you uh, just thought that I was like, okay, can I see? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I thought Mr. Harmon from Community. Uh, I, uh, but you're, break- I, you're breaking so many hearts out there. These girls are just falling for you. It's not just that you're out there being promiscuous. They're they- resilient. They're resilient. Uh, c- girls don't care. I mean, look at me. I'm, uh, no one's going to break their heart over me, right, girls? <laughs> but I, uh, I, I, uh, I lost my phone hiking like a year ago. And that phone, god damn it, had so much shit about me. Like like texts, like ridiculous texts and pictures of everyone and me. And like, you know, like I like to take pictures of my dick and my face. <laughs> Cuz you know, I, you just I, don't send a dick pic with just a dick. You t- could get that anywhere. Tonight, can I get a Tonight, can I get a picture of my dick in your face? <laughs> I, I always put when mine I put like a newspaper headline that says Dewey defeats Truman, <laughs> <laughs> just because I want to re- I want to remind the woman like like don't believe everything you see. <laughs> <laughs> this was an early d- edition. <laughs> yeah, actually, when you take a picture like that with your dick and then your face, your dick looks huge. Like it's enveloping your face. I've never understood. I, gu- I guess this is me. Exp- I mean, I, gu- I, I guess this is this is probably a a small penis thing. Uh, I d- I just don't understand. Take it like this. No, but not, it's not my goal to like, make it look big. I, I, I like like that would be uh, worse. It would be like if if Ewan McGregor was my headshot and I was an actor. I'd be like, oh, I, I, they want me to come in again. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Um. The like, I, 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 don't, I don't understand the, the dick pic thing. And I, is it like on paper, when you hear about that, you immediately think to yourself, this is something that only men would think that, that, that women would want. Like, no, like women ask for it. Like, I swear to God. And, and it's like but clearly like over time, what I've learned is that is just just by its longevity as a cultural thing is that there is there is participation in this yeah. on both oh, yeah, sides. Yeah, girls, it's a give gr- girls will solicit a dick pic from you. Yeah. Which maybe you know there's a there's a there's a there's a length of feminism you can go to to the point where you're actually like <laughs> kind of. I, like, I don't know if you felt that wave of tittering going through the crowd around. Right <laughs> I was already, I was I was thinking every, I, every girl just remembered the last time they solicited a dick pic from somebody. <laughs> I mean, is there? Is there? Is, is there I, I, this is why I wish we had that like polling technology. I want to know, like, because I don't want anyone to have to say out loud. Uh, uh, have uh, them say out loud. Well, the people that say out loud, then who? You know, what's their deal? Right. Yeah. But it's, uh, <laughs> they want to see your dick. But 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 it would be interesting to get an honest poll of like 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 how many women in the audience like do, have they ever said to a man in one form or another in text like send me a picture of your dick or like you know something like that. Anybody no. out there, gals? There's, what, 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 one, one woman says, oh, yeah, for sure. We heard, we heard What's one your for name? sure. What's your name? My name's Lana. Lana, get up here. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> if, you, if you want to. When you ask for a dick pic, you face the crowd. Meet the press. Ha, cha, cha. Uh, uh, well, thank I'm you nervous, for, too. Oh, here, you should. Here, here, there's, there's a mic next to you, Lana. You, oh. There's another one over here. Lana, was it? Wow. Hello, Lana. Hello. So I'm curious about the context of when you solicit a. a w- w- is it like it's just a guy you like, and it's like I mean, I guess it, I'm, the analog is if it's. I'm uh, yeah, I mean, it's not like it's not like random. It's not like oh, hey, dude on the street, you just gave me your number. Like it's not. It's not right. Bad. It's like an extension of phone sex. Like yeah. w- w- like when there was only landlines. Like. Sometimes a relationship would get to the point, like very, very infrequently with me, but uh, like, like it's like, oh, I'm, I, I'm, we're, yeah, well, I'm not with you, and we can't he'd, be he'd, together, and then yeah. you do weird things through the medium that's allowed, and yeah. so now we have pictures, and he'd so. have to be in your phone already, yes, right? Yes, 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 of course. What's your number? <laughs> <laughs> but and so, I got, I got to get it out, baby. And so I'm assuming <laughs> that that the, the way the conversation probably goes is the guy probably says. Uh, is, is in terms of flattering the woman, like I, I am in this state right now, and then the woman says, "You know, picture it didn't happen. <laughs> uh, let's see it." When, when you're when you're asking for that, did you okay for this particular guy? Had you had, you had already seen the wiener in question? You weren't seeing it for the yeah, first you know, time. That course. would be weird. Okay. That would definitely be weird. That would yeah. be a weird way to see it for the first time. Yeah, it's not, it's not like you're going shopping, right? No, no, yeah. no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> 
But but if you've already seen, this is the thing about a wiener. If you've already seen it, I get, I get, I, I, I think I, yeah, I, 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 I guess I just need to like relax a little bit and go like, you know what? Maybe women like sex too. I guess like the the the, the kind of the way it's that it's kind men of do. a way of having sex without having sex. It's like having sex for a distance, right? Pretty much. I mean, admittedly, I've been you know lucky. So generally, the pics I get sent are fairly impressive. So there's that. <laughs> the, the, the Eiffel Tower's in the background. There's a. <laughs> he's got his pinky out. No. Uh, I, I, there's a hoverboard. I don't know what's. Uh, it's a dick. It's a dick. Oh, but, 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 but Lana, you're like, saying that you've already seen the, the, the wieners in question. So yeah. you, you knew what you were getting more or less. So it, it wasn't going to be a picture of a guy's dick shaped like an ampersand or somewhere. No. <laughs> I mean, that would be impressive, but for different reasons. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Spencer's is shaped like the uh, Dungeons & Dragons ampersand. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dragon dick that's breathing fire that forms its own... Uh... Spencer's dick is an innie right now after you said that. <laughs> Are you kidding? It's, uh, it's, Spencer's dick has 20 sides. <laughs> also impressive. Impressive but, for different reasons. Yeah. yeah. But 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 every every hit is critical. I don't know. <laughs> that's that's it. Don't uh, don't applaud. I uh, that was that I was condemned that joke on the way out the door, and you applauded it. So uh, uh, what does that make you? I, a very I, uh, generous audience. <laughs> Solana, are you currently seeing somebody right now? No, actually. You just you're you're, you're out shopping for more dick pics. No, right? Jeff, are you seeing anyone right now? No. Jeff, oh, you, hello. How many megapixels is your camera, Jeff? Uh, <laughs> not nearly weird. enough, Dan. <laughs> like 10, 10 and a half. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Har- Harmontown Knights. God, I wish I had a big dick so bad. I would show it to everybody. Okay, remember when I took my shirt off? Was like, 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 people are impressed when you're like, not afraid to show. You ever notice our friends like Chris Romano and actually Harris Whittles was one of them? Like, uh, uh, like for a joke, they would just like whip out. You know, they would, they, if, if, if Sarah would ask, like, like, they would just, they're just naked. They're putting their balls in the coffee, whatever. <laughs> but they, you know, I look and then I go, eh, my dick's smaller than that. That's why they're doing that. So they had like a big dick flaccid? Well, yeah, I think that's what it's like. The, my, my, as I've said on this show, like mine is in it. Mine, mine, I praise only its practicality. Like, <laughs> like I, when it is not in operational mode, like it's just it is a nipple. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> so's mine. So's mine. It doesn't matter back then. You know, like the future is what matters. <laughs> <laughs> Way back then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm married now. I guess I'll, s- I'll send Aaron a picture of my dick at some point. I guess. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll end- why I'll- would you do that? You know, well, she doesn't I- ask. I- because I want to have done it. You know, it's what it's like. I feel like it's there's like something. Send it now. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> uh, Dan, go into the bathroom right now. Send- take a- take a dick pic. We'll wait for you. <laughs> I'm not gonna. It's not. It's not a. It- this isn't the Morton Downey show. Yeah, yeah. It's a- <laughs> Literally, like a Nazi throws a chair at me. Uh, let, let, well, let's 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 bring my wife out, Erin McGathy. If she's here. Oh yeah, yeah. Stick around because I th- I want to hear the woman's conversation about. Should I leave? No, you shouldn't leave either. She's got a big skirt on. Oh, Erin. Wow. When you wear a gown to Harmontown, you down. Beep, 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 beep. Oscar night. <laughs> that is a whole lot of crinoline. <laughs> Can we get you another chair? That's, a, that's, a, that's a lot of dress. Talk more <laughs> it's than okay. I got it. It's, a, it's an intimacy thing or a power thing. It's dirty. On whose side? Is it a Both power sides. thing? I don't know. I the other night when you were uh, at work, I, I kept on. Cons- I don't know why I was so nervous to send this to you. You're my husband, but I was like, I want to. I just want to ask him to take a picture of his face. <laughs> <laughs> not as opposed to with, with Dino's dick in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Here you go, Scoops. You want a drink? Uh, sure. Um, you pass that down to my better half. Oh. Uh, AKA Scoops. <laughs> my little, my little cloud baby. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. Well, you're, you're, uh, you're wearing that because you saw the Somebody red carpet. Really this, this, this year is all about beards for the men and white dresses with... White dresses with embellishments. Yeah. <laughs> so she embellished with, uh, like, more white dress than... Yeah. Than I, uh, this, is, this is the skirt I wore under my wedding dress. Uncomfortable. Um... Uh, yeah, I, I just wanted you to send a picture of your face as a, like, I don't know, maybe part of it's a power thing. Um, yeah. I've, I've, you I, having the power to make your husband show a picture of his face? Well, no, no, no. Well, I'm, think, I'm thinking about the dick pics. Oh. Um, I'm Can toying with whether or not to say this, so I guess I'll just say this. I, I, I have asked for dick pics. All right. <laughs> Th this is at, uh, wh what time today? <laughs> <laughs> Dan, when, when were you buying milk? Um, <laughs> I <laughs> because the, the moment Dan steps up for that daily milk trip, yeah. <laughs> I'm always like, man, this is the, yeah, why am I always buying milk? <laughs> That's what the milkman's for. Oh, um, uh, well, there have been a couple of times when I've sent you sexy pictures of me, and then I've felt embarrassed. Because they're not reciprocated, but it's like oh, a back and forth. They actually came to me. <laughs> oh, oh no, Whoops. Dan and Dino. Oh, what a gross thought. That's a, that is a nightmare. That is an absolute nightmare. Like you're just you're sitting drawing, and then I, oh 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 god, I gotta go. Drying. Uh, so when no, you said drawing, me, uh, uh, oh, dry. I thought you said <laughs> drying. I said dry. I'm sitting there uh, you drying. Just of, you just got out of that wet wet bath. You're you're uh, you're in the kitchen making your Greek chicken, and just the beads of sweat are dripping off of your disgusting body, and pee is oh my spreading god. over. What are, what are you wearing right now? <laughs> um, something to cover up how much weight I've gained. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's nice that you feel sorry for me, which makes me feel like I'm fatter than I am. No, I look great. I feel... <laughs> uh, so I should... <laughs> that, I was like a, that was like a jujitsu move. <laughs> I should send you a picture back when you send me one of those pictures during the day. It's just yes. you looking cute. I should send one back. Well, y yes, yes. If I send you a picture of, of me at the library with like, wow, so many copies of Bridget Jones' diary, and then you send me back a picture of your penis, <laughs> that, might, I might not, that might not be the right space for it. Um, uh, but I would, st I would still accept it. I'd like that. Uh, well, that's better for me because I always don't know what to type, so I always just go, aw. <laughs> That's great. Sometimes, sometimes you great. accidentally uh, type ah. Yeah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> and then I, I have to uh, uh, Maybe talk more like a Fonzie. A. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh. Lana. Or that. So, yeah. Lana, where are you from? New York? Yeah. Living out here now? You're visiting. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. I feel like we just had a threesome. <laughs> <Yeah. Weirdly. laughs> it's uh, been, been a There's while one for since everybody. I've done that. Uh, I've been out oh. here for two and a half years. Two years. Yeah. Years. Having fun? Yeah, so far so good. It's been good to me. Uh, I'm a script soup. So. Script soup? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you know, this is uh, LA's the place to be for it, I guess. What's, what's in that something? bottle that you're brown bagging like a cholo this from my is, high school? I know. Uh, <laughs> this is, what is this? Uh, liquid Aloha from Longford. I don't know. It was the only. It was the only thing that wasn't like a horrible heavy stout. That oh, it's was, beer. Okay, it's good. definitely beer. Oh, okay, great. Uh, my friend is drinking straight up Kettle One though, so there's so there is that. All but right. uh, he's a little bit more hardcore than me. But uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Let me finish that. Are you fucking him? No. No. Oh, okay. That would be. I mean. Have you seen weird. the guy? Is, is that your significant fellow there? No, no, no he's a friend of mine visiting from. Yeah. Are you dating that guy? I am not. No, <laughs> sadly. Have, what's, your, what, what's your name of this, sir? Brett. Have you ever sent Brett? Him? Have you, did you know you were insignificant? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Aaron, you brought you didn't you bring an activity, an Oscar night activity? <laughs> I did. Everybody, look under your chairs. There are three colored pens. Oh, that's so nice. I'm kidding. <laughs> So cute, you're cute. That you're is, so cute. That is so sweet. That is really uh, sweet. That uh, that that reminded me of when I was nine years old. My my dad was a preacher, and he yeah, let you me. You guys have, are nine years old. <laughs> 
he let me have, I asked one day if like I could get up and talk for the church. And this is the first and last time he let me do this. I came in early and I took bags of glitter and gl- like taped them underneath all the chairs to, uh, cause I wanted to tell a story. I had just uh, read the story or heard the story of, uh, uh, Meshach, Reshach and Abednego. <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach. Shadrach, yeah, Shadrach, Meshach. I mean, it really stuck with me. Um, <laughs> where they, they were protected by an angel and they lived through a fire. And so they had this orange glitter. And everybody reached under their chair and brought out the thing and then got glitter all over them. And, and I told the story. Do you remember when we were preparing for the wedding and my dad was like, don't give her any glitter? That's because of that. Uh. That's like still a thing. Um, but yes, I did You should have said that for the honeymoon. <laughs> oh, you, you, should, put, you should put three specks of glitter on your penis. I could probably fit three and a half. Oh, no. <laughs> so, honey, you could fit thousands, <laughs> millions. Um, there's a, I do have an activity. I have a little game corner activity. I left a, if someone can hand me the black book that's back there. Thank you. Um, I'm going to read my goals for 2015. Um, not really. Okay, so if we could if we could set up two mics that are facing a camera that look like uh, presenter mics at the Oscars, this is a game called uh, Presenters. Uh, Oscars, fame. Uh, Jeff, can I switch places with you sure. for this game? Thank you. Jeff is wearing a lovely charcoal suit. I'm not sure which uh, which camera should we should, uh, uh, makes us look like we're presenting at the at the Oscars. This one or that one? That one. That one. All right. Is, the, is your red light your way of saying yes? No. Well, actually, we don't. We we will share a mic because they, they'll share a mic. So let's. Here, I'll put that down. All right. It is the I'll year. I'll take two mics. It is the year 2020. Uh, these are these are the Oscars, and Jeff and Dan are going to be playing various presenters at the Oscars, <laughs> presenting various awards. And uh, Dino and Lana, if you feel uh, inspired at any point to uh, be a part of this, you are welcome. I'm doing it now. I mean, there I we go. Here. Yeah. I keep wondering if I should leave, but here <laughs> I no, am. St- stay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have the best night of our lives. Welcome back. To the 2020 Oscars, live from the Olympia Theater in beautiful Petra B. 63 Crater on the dark side of the moon. <laughs> Presenting the award for Best Supporting Actress is Alan Cumming and Charlie Callis. Work it. (laughs) Best supporting actresses are are very important. I think I'm British. (laughs) The thing about the ah, the thing about the the thing about the ha ha ha, think about the whoa, why, why, hey, hey. (laughs) And the nominees are (laughs) Jodie Foster. For her role in Abadoos. <laughs> How come there's no Abadoos? I, I won't do clips for each one. <laughs> I'll do the titles, you do all the clips. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, uh, Meryl Streep for uh, the, uh, the, the virus in the wind. <laughs> mm-hmm. what, exactly. What are you talking about? <laughs> Renee Selwiger and ah, 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 wow. <laughs> and the Oscar goes to Jody Foster. Yay! Yay. Okay. Yay. All right, I think we did that wrong, right? Uh, that was that was great. And if I didn't establish this earlier, they don't know who I'm going to say. Obviously. And also, they don't know who Charlie Callis is. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Please welcome to the stage. Uh, you know him from filling in that smaller crater, uh, and you know her as. 
as president of the dark side of the moon, Alec Baldwin, Baldwin and Oprah Winfrey. They will be presenting best... <laughs> They will, th though they need no activity because we respect their power, they will be presenting a best original song. You know, they say that uh, the song is the heart and soul of a movie. And without a song, that the movie's not really the whole experience that it ought to be. That's the worst Oprah Winfrey I've ever heard. <laughs> I hello. stole his joke. Hello. I, I was going to say hello. I'm Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> I got so <laughs> depressed that I stole his joke. I peed it in my pants. The nominees are. <laughs> All right, later in the night, Drew Barrymore and Dakota Fanning presented the, the Oscar for Best Original Screenplay. I get to do the easy one. That's the worst. <laughs> oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> the writing of Kate Hudson's impression of Drew Barrymore is what I'm doing right now <laughs> and is magical. Hello, I'm Dakota Fanning. <laughs> what's the top? What's the, what's the uh, nomination again? What's the, what's the what's the category? Original screenplay. Well, shit! Original screenplays. I'm Dakota Fanning. It does sound like who, the, 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 that's who that that name. It's the name. It's the name. I mean, I don't know who that is. It sounds like an old timey co uh, like cowboy actor. Right? <laughs> well, shit! I'm Dakota Fanning. Oscar goes to everybody. <laughs> Finally, the night took a dramatic turn and a moment that will be forever remembered in Oscar history as the time it happened. When Billy Crystal and Benedict Cumberbatch presented Best Picture. <laughs> Come on, Billy Crystal's dead by then, right? He's gotta be. No, I picture, I picture him like a Futurama head in a jar, right? Oh, really? Okay. Hey, hey. 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 That's a good segment. All right, that was that was dynamite. That was fun. Thanks. That was podcast thank you dynamite. for podcast thank you for dynamite. that. I just want to show everybody my uh, my opposite of a beautiful mind notes for. <laughs> All right, let's make sure. Is it is it land? Lana. Lana. Is it land? <laughs> it's most no, you, not you might have thought it was Lana because uh, we know Lana. Lana. We know Lana. Is it is Lana spelled differently from Lana? No, no. no. Lana, uh, Lana was just. Do you correct people? Uh, sometimes if it seems like they're gonna be saying my name a lot, but mm. generally. <laughs> Lana is really the way you say it. Lana, she, that bitch was out of her mind. <laughs> yeah, fuck her. She's the worst. Yeah, she was just, a cunt. Just the worst. Uh, I, 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 I kind of feel like there's a thing happening with Dino and Lana right now. I feel I feel like it's happening. Oh yeah. Well, don't kill it. If... <laughs> I don't think it, I don't think it can be killed. I think that Dino's sexuality is. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna whisper sweet nothing's in here right now. Nigger. What? <laughs> it's my catchphrase, people. Oh man. It always works. <laughs> Such a hard R. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, uh, Lana, Lana, uh, uh, what do you think? What do, what do I think? <laughs> uh, you got a new book coming out? Uh, I don't, well, uh, uh, dick pics. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to put a ribbon on it, not the dick. 
Lana, our, uh, I, I see, I I see you've week. come here with a gentleman tonight. Are you guys involved? No. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's here visiting from Texas. Okay, oh, so we'll say I, no more. So it's, <laughs> like, if you want to sleep with him, it's cool. I can fuck him. Okay, oh, yeah, good, yeah, good, totally. good. I mean, as long as he's okay with that. I mean, he's okay with as it. As long as he's okay with that, I, I just want to make sure he won't that know what hit him. Him. Believe me. Do you think the threesome guy was he supposed to also have sex with you, or was he supposed to just have sex with the woman w- alongside? I you? was probably gonna like lick his cum off her or something like that. I mean, if you're oh, into fuck it. If you're into it. <laughs> you guys are prejudiced. <laughs> They didn't boot the N-bomb as hard as that. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> so, uh, there's, 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 there's got to be yeah. at least one African-American Harmontown fan here tonight that's just like, wait a minute. Yeah, I think I think you lost all <laughs> I'm going to go home and like, like, like ask myself a lot of questions about society. <laughs> I would lick his cum off of anyone. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Now, now nothing. Well, uh, the, the best thing I can come up with to maybe end me being on stage, not that this wasn't lovely, and thank you for having me. But, <laughs> it's uh, been so boring. You I leave. used to, uh, I, I, would, I used to ask when I was in high school and thought I was clever, would ask uh, all the guys that I knew uh, how they thought of their penis. Was it a tool, a trophy, or a toy? Trophy? And it was an interesting kind of poll. A tool, a trophy. Well, Dan, you said, you said yours is practical, so I'm going to go with tool with yours, right? Uh, it's or a toy. A toy. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a toy until you get married, and then it's a tool, right? <laughs> ba ba da ba ba ba. A totem. What was the? What is the? Th- what wait, it was a tool, a trophy, or a, okay, yeah, yeah, got it, yeah. Okay. It's all it's a tro- I'm trying to figure out how it could be ever be a trophy, but like, like I guess if it was really big. Yeah. Like Sometimes it doesn't really have to be big, cause I, how do you win a dick? Come over here. I got. <laughs> what, what did you say? I said, come over here. I'll show uh, you. You wrap it in like gold ribbon. That's right. right. But it's your own. I mean, I, I understand how someone else could win it. Like I, I consider all of all of my wieners uh, collaborators to be winners in some way. I, I hope they're not feeling like they lost something. <laughs> but I took the trophy with me, and also, it w- never mind. I, I, <laughs> I, was, I mean, would you have licked the... I love my dick. Would you have... Would oh, you, oh, trophy, oh what are you asking would me? You, would you have licked the cum off the... Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. Mm. I, uh, it's all... We're all, you know, one organism. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all made of stars. All made of stars. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Well, uh, any 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 parting thoughts? If uh, uh, if uh, uh, you, you want, you, no, that puts you on the spot. I, I'm always feeling like I don't want to deprive people of their their moment. Like you could uh, just leave if you want. Uh, yeah, I mean, thank right. you. <laughs> Lana. Let, let's have a hand. Yeah, Lana. Lana. I don't have any oh. final thoughts either. Uh, yeah, the um, uh, I'm bad at I'm bad at uh, interviewing and I'm bad at I'm bad at figuring out when to how do you say I think you're good you're a nice guy how do you say just leave? I I don't want I didn't you, want her to leave you thank them and you say uh, get, get. I no she was fine she was fine I, I I just I always I always feel like I always feel like the Wisconsin in me is like wants to be like uh, ironic about it like I don't want to I don't want to just like I don't want to be like Craig Kilborn. Oh yeah, no, I wasn't worried about you, lady. <laughs> no. no, no, I wasn't. I, 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 I it's, it's just a, it's a spineless thing. Like I don't want to take charge. I don't want to be. Like, I don't want to be like, 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 like. I don't like the idea that, of me pre, uh, uh, coming across as having the pretense that the show has any direction at all. I That's so. what it is. Like, okay, let's uh, let's keep it going. Come on, let's thank her. As if, as, as if we have better stuff to do. Uh, I, I don't need you guys to, to talk right now either. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's so funny. It's, uh... Well, not so spineless anymore. <laughs> Dan, do you, th- do you think it's because you're wearing a, a tux that you, you feel like now there's suddenly a structure to the show? There is no, 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 no. This is a, this is a, I'm expressing a thing. I'm, I'm, I'm open sourcing my experience as I do the show for years. I've always done this. I've, al- I've always had trouble at the end of... Is this your first fight? 
of uh, <laughs> people. <laughs> like whether it's uh, Greg Proops or anybody, like I never know to if I'm supposed to go like, like, okay, thank him for coming. It just feels like such an odd thing to be the person that says, all right, this phone call's over. It's just it's just well, a lot of power to like, right, but it's not me, and it's a it's a it's a gift I know, as opposed to just, putting somebody on the spot and, and saying like you need to prove that you're. Uh, no, yeah, I get that now. I'm working through this. I get that. He doesn't need you to talk, lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if you just had a stroke and you're like, who are you? <laughs> what, are you what are you wearing? What's going on? Really? Come, come, come. Go, go, go. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Grease. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get a big laugh, but I liked it. <laughs> I just play that, play that song. I just want, I, just, I got it in my head. It's a good song, right? Yeah. Uh, what's this guy's name again? Kevin McLeod. It's all this free online stuff that I just found a bunch of in a, in a rush to get like some music to play, and I, I think we got to make this guy famous. <laughs> Uh, see, it's always it's always on the wrong. Okay. You... We'll start from the top. From the top. You ready, Dan? Okay. <clears throat> is, this a, is this a real Dan? craving, Dan? I want you to sing this like you're about to die. Yeah. From the morning to the night, I'm gonna break it down. Break it down. Break it down. I'm gonna It was a toxically bereft film about nothing at all. Beep, beep, choop, choo, 42, can't go to movies anymore. Kids been sucked out the door. Stupid, knife foot lady, just had bangs, doesn't have a character. Ooh. Sam Jackson had a lisp. It's a choice. He's an actor. Really embarrassing to sit through. That movie was fucked up, man. That movie was so fucked up. Uh, <sighs> we'd be out of breath for a couple of weeks. That song was called Sidewalk Out of Sight. It was good. Even with all that irony, I still feel old. Well, the, uh, yeah, cause, I, cause, I, I just don't understand Just because I'm so groovy? Or? Yeah, yeah. I just or you're you're thinking, like, why are these kids here? Why do they pay $10? Yeah, why do they care about you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I mean tonight's not I mean the, I like you, you're a nice guy. But but what the fuck? Yeah. What is everyone here for? I, I, <laughs> tonight's not the night that that it's that it's evident why. Like it's more of a long term relationship we have, I think. <laughs> like you know, look at it like we, we have the night off, maybe. <laughs> Family uh It's a bad movie, it's a movie about uh dressing nice, I guess, and having knives yeah. knives for feet. A left-wing critique of spy movies. Bring him up. Bring him up. Uh, <laughs> Fuck you! Bring, come here! Come here! I mean, if you, if you want to come up and do 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 a three-minute endorsement of uh, of Kingsman, I just I just found it to be a profoundly uh, 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 toxic yeah. piece of garbage. But it's 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 clearly controversial, and here's why: because it's it's childish nonsense, and then every time they make a movie that includes childish nonsense, if there's a dinosaur, or a robot in it, or a lady with knife feet, or it's based on a comic book, which is everything now, like then we all feel like it's religion, and we all have to argue about it. Like it's like like it's all of a sudden like it's important whether you have the if you're the Jew that has the curly thingies, or whether you have the special hat, or both. 
Um, like, it, like, it becomes high stakes, like, when nerds encounter each other in the, over cigarettes in the alley about the fucking movie that came out. It's like, oh, it was a, like, it's, it's important to know for us, like, like, is this a good thing or a bad thing? I'm 42. It's a whole different topic for me. It's just like, these movies are just getting dumber and dumber. I'm telling you, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I just, I just, just didn't like Guardians of the Galaxy. I, I, I don't, I just, I'm so bored. I'm so tired. I just, like, I, I just get, I just play Minecraft and I just, I just go to sleep. <laughs> I just, I just don't. I think that, I think that, I think that movies are for just for people who. It's, it's the third movie you've seen, and if it's the third movie you've seen, then it's good. You know, the third movie I saw was like, like Die Hard. So I think, I, like, I think oh, we should revisit Guardians of the Galaxy because I think it is a great. I movie. did see it on like a hotel room TV. Yeah, it was we'll like watch it again. We'll give it a, yeah. <laughs> but, but you know, something. have you seen Boyhood? No, I haven't seen it. It's a really I good movie. I keep waiting because like, that's the thing about good movies oh, is you right. hear the good, the generally good movies are like I'm never in the mood to watch them because like, I'm like, oh, Boyhood, that sounds like it's going to break my fucking heart. No, it makes me want to kill myself. Speaking it's of uh, speaking of Boyhood, uh, before we left, Patricia Arquette won the Oscar for um, for Best Actress or Best Supporting Best Supporting Actress. Um, but on the red carpet, Dan and I were watching red carpet footage, and she was being interviewed, and she she said. Um, well, I mean, one of the things I really like about me is um, how much I care about other people. <laughs> she, did. she said and, what I like about yeah. me, really? Yeah, that's l- literally what she said, almost verbatim. And then, and then they said, like, well, let's hear from your daughter, and they're introducing a new Arquette to us. And like, you can oh, see here you fear go. in her daughter's eyes where she's like, oh, it's br- say, said, say what she wants me to say. Yeah, I guess, I guess this is a great time. Because uh, uh, my mom, uh, uh, it's just a great, like, she's come a long way because people are finally starting to recognize her. And I was like, oh, man, don't feed your daughter lines on the SUV on the way to the, oh, these, yeah. these are cats. Didn't they got it I was reading tweets that <laughs> she's a real she, carnation I, I, of. Uh, I, 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 went in this, I went in the other room because it was playing loud and Dan and I weren't in the same room when that happened. And I, I said, ah, 45 seconds. That's the amount of time I, it takes for me to go from loving Patricia Arquette to not. But I was really Who is this guy uh, yelling about over here? Somebody was yelling. Who was yelling? Can we tell the... What the fuck? What, what were you... What, what? What was the what the fuck? No, no, no. I mean, I mean like, people are looking at me. And oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we accidentally... Uh... I was yelling a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. Can we tell... Right. Okay. <laughs> is that the code of fans? Is, is there any way... <laughs> Is there is there any way to tell the carnation story? I think enough time has passed, right? Okay, all right. So so, so don't let this get out of the room. We, we <laughs> <laughs> tell it tell it again. You told it. It's a great story. We did. Yeah. The carnation story. Okay. What? Yeah, we told it we here told on it. this yeah. show. Yeah. On this television show. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. All right. What, what's all right. the story? The carnation story. Are, are, now are, are these in Kardashian story? I don't. I don't know any Kardashian story. <laughs> we were we were writing a pilot for the, the David Arquette was uh, giving us notes and he uh, and he kept using the word carnation for to, incarnation. Right. Like he's like, this is a carnation of that. And I and I wasn't listening to his words. I was listening to his meaning more. And I was like, fuck him. It's not a. And I, I finally I burst out. Uh, and you know Dan and Jay Johnston were there, and uh, and I was like, and I finally burst out and I said, "It's not a carnation of that; it's a carnation of this." <laughs> and, and, and I was like, "Jesus Christ! Don't fucking make fun of him on yeah. top of everything that we're going through." And I see them out of the corner of my eyes, kind of like like burying their heads. And I'm like, "What?" A, and I'm like, and I think they're making fun of me. I'm like, "Carnate!" Oh, I'm saying carnation instead of incarn. And I out loud I said. Carnation? What am I, a fucking retard? <laughs> like, he didn't... Yeah. And I, I had no idea I was repeating David Arquette's word. And they thought I was a hero. Like, wow, I this did, fucking guy. I did not think you were a hero. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, don't, I didn't think you were a villain, but... I was, I was, I, I knew at that moment I was blessed to have you in my life, but I, 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 I didn't, I didn't think you were a hero. Like I, I was just, I thought our life was a movie. <laughs> I wasn't sure if there was a central character or not. Speaking of uh, Jay Johnson, are you allowed to say what you're, the cool thing that you're working on right now? Well, it's a, um, uh, a lot of the people from Mr. Show are working on something. It's not, it's not going to be on HBO. Mrs. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's Bob. And, Bob and David are doing a sketch show, and a lot of the original writers are are doing it. And we're I don't know where it's going to be yet. They're not telling me, but um, but it's going it's going to air somewhere. And uh, we're, yeah, we're doing a, a sketch show. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Netflix. <coughs> 
probably Netflix. <coughs> <laughs> He said, pro- he said probably, everyone. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we should bring, uh, let's bring Spencer out. Spencer! From the moment that I saw you roll those dice, beep, beep, family, everybody wants family. <laughs> hey, guys. What's up, Spencer? Hi, Spencer. Hey, Dino. I like your haircut, Dino. Thanks. You know, I uh, I woke up one morning in New York and drank a half a bottle of vodka and chopped it all off. Yourself? Yeah. That's impressive, yeah. right? It, it was a work in progress for a while. <laughs> yeah. You cut your own hair? Yeah. Yeah. How? I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was fucking drunk. <laughs> With scissors? Oh, yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> no, it's an obsidian knife. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, 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 always I cut them with lesbian legs <laughs> ah. I don't know they, they say that that's a myth But those don't work for haircuts uh, the, the, uh, I, always, I, always, I always, always fantasize about that You look in the mirror and you go Why not? I mean come on What, what was this? You what could a- do it You don't care how you look Yeah I mean now, now I guess I do But but uh, you do? When, you, when I was a kid, I did it once, and then I got shamed for it. Like, You're married huh. now. Why would you care how you look? I'm a spokesman for a major. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go to South by Southwest. Take Are pictures. you a spokesman now? Of uh, for Yahoo. I've been following you. It for for the show. The show's rolling out, so there's gonna be pictures of me. And oh, I'm pictures. Be like, of you? They're fat. making him wear a, a text that looks like an exclamation point. Okay, sorry about slowing <laughs> the show down. And we're doing a Harmontown from South by Southwest, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be there. Uh, that's good news for you guys. <laughs> we're flying you all out. <laughs> S- Spencer, Weird. I always like to hear about what's going on with you in the world of current events. Oh, <laughs> like, oh boy. <laughs> so many things. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really just firing on all cylinders today. <laughs> What what and currently uh, what currently gets your goat? Is there a thing going on geopolitically or scientifically? What's your a... beef? What's your beef? I just heard a, a, a radio commercial on the radio for Lyft, the for car share service. Nift for Lyft. 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 Oh. And it was just uh, it really got my goat. Okay, let me try something else. <laughs> um, I listened to KK. I listened to the KKK. <laughs> they. I, I disagree with most of their views. But, yeah. <laughs> well, they're losing they let, focus. Their headlines like kind of close the conversation off, but the truth is they're flat taxers. They're really uh, yeah, they're they really have some very advice. interesting economic. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. No, okay, I listened to they this really, They really, they really nigger their economy. God, stop it! You what? guys, stop. I can't. I can't. I mean, it'd be shocking if you didn't say it. I know. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up from the peanut gallery. <laughs> black, the black guy over in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the black guys are like looking at the floor, going like, uh, uh, "Tell me when it's over." Um, oh man, Spencer backstage when they were uh, when they were joking about your dick being a twenty sided dick. It, he, I couldn't I couldn't tell because I but you, but you were like were you secretly grinning? I was, uh, I'd say I was openly grinning. I don't oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't like there was any, yeah, no, right, no not like subterfuge at a, at a in it. Right Spencer, there. if you could describe your penis as, as, uh, as, a, as a mythical c- creature from the D&D universe, uh, what, what, what would it most resemble? Um, what do you call it? Uh, a thakwa. <laughs> That's like, a, <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, hold on, hold on, start back up. What? I, I thought I thought you just meant to to pick a monster that it was the most like okay yeah I could describe it okay, sure <laughs> looming in the distance <laughs> heavy with the musk of fourteen woodland creatures <laughs> floating imperiously through the forest path it's it, I I don't know it's just. I like how you. I like that. I'm going to use that covering technique from a distance. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good cover. Yeah, you can't tell. Yeah. I really like the dramatic music and then him saying, "I, I, I don't know." <laughs> I, I was sure you, the first word you were going to say was rising. <laughs> Dan, you you want to give it a try for your dick, Dan? <laughs> yeah. Okay, ready. 
from a really far, far pl place away. <laughs> so far that you can't tell its dimensions. An impressively simplistic pink monolith twitches from its pivot point on the lower abdomen of the voice of a new generation. Dribbling with with viscous precum. Do my dick, do my dick. Same same music? Same music, yeah. There's nothing mysterious about it. You all have pictures. <laughs> Look at your phone right now. I've texted all of you. That's it. All right, Aaron, your pussy. <laughs> Unseen by the naked eye. Ah! Needing a magnifying glass and jaws of life to pry it open tighter than any tight and deep, but not too deep. <laughs> Containing the secrets of 14 creatures. This uh, week. Uh, uh, 15, 15 here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Another guy showed up. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I wonder if the kid who tweeted me that he was 17 years old and he was coming to the show, I uh, was wondering if he could come to the show at 17 if he, if he came tonight. Are you here? 17? You here? All right, Aww. see, that's good. Huh? I heard something. But that's fine, right? Like yeah. a Seth Rogen movie talks about dicks and cum and stuff. Who cares? Yeah, it's okay. I, I learned the truth at 17. <laughs> Love he's, is he's, that that you wouldn't lose days. your virginity for another seven years. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, right? 24 years old. I lost 24. My, I lost my virginity at 24. And Dina like was I, mad because I beat you. Yeah. Well, he we beats were, me at everything. 24. Even losing my virginity. I was a very late bloomer. I was uh, a... Yeah. Jesus. There's, there's, some, uh, there's some Rudy's in the audience. I was uh, 23 when I lost my virginity, but I suck cock at 12. <laughs> Seriously. Really? So yeah. That's, yeah. You sucked your first dick at 12? No, you didn't. Yeah. You're lying. No, I swear to God. And he, well, he was 12, too, so it was cool. <laughs> were you pals? Were you, like, playground buddies? Or was yeah, we... He's, <laughs> he, he, they were he frenemies. <laughs> you, you, met you, <laughs> you met him. I met him, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, tr we tried to have a threesome with you. <laughs> no, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't. <laughs> I like how you rushed to make sure. No, no, whatever. Yeah, well, I saw your eyes. Don't, 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 don't stop coming around. <laughs> it's like, is that what that pitch for an Adult Swim show was? <laughs> did, you uh, and, did you and Andy ever have any mess arounds? No, he never hit on me. I'm so upset. You're the only one. Yeah, I mean, I'm not attracted to him. But Andy got fuck into, him. I was at a, at a, in, a, in a hotel room at Disneyland. Oh, of the, course, he wants you and, really uh, badly. And there was a girl there. We're like, we're in bed, and he, and he was trying to. Fuck everybody in the building, and it was—he's just the most rampant. Yeah, except me. Except you. Yeah, nothing. What's, what's that about? I don't know. I'm ugly. Yeah, poor me. Not in New York, you're not. No, uh, no. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so we're gonna play Shadow Run now, and uh, if. Dino, you were very you were you were, you were not a team player uh, with Dungeons and Dragons, right. but Shadowrun sounds fun. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> uh, all of you. <laughs> um, do I don't you, have to like anything you like. Spencer Spencer is in charge of the of the of the role playing section. Do you think that uh, not to put you on the spot, but should Dino leave or should yeah, he I go? should leave. I mean, please, <laughs> please, Leah, have me leave. Well, what, what, if, what Dino if Dino wants. can watch it and we can hear what he thinks of it after? He could do a little wrap. Maybe up. I'll come back and 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 talk about it and, okay. and make fun well, of you. Guys. This, how about he stays up here but doesn't play? He can. No, just... I want to go. <laughs> you want to go? Yeah, there's a bar around the corner. Oh, let's all thank Dino. Stay on top of Yay! There, I did it. Thank you, Dino. From the moment you learn to take charge of your show, I can see your abilities as a host to grow. All right, Spencer. Family. 
Dan, would you would you pass out the uh, character sheets for us well, since you're up? Character sheets. <laughs> All right, Spencer. Do you want to do a, uh, a, a like an, an intro from last time? Well, I I mean I can do one. Uh, I was just last time we had Dan do a recap, and I really liked that. I don't know if Dan remembers or <sighs> well, if anyone... I had mo- I don't re- I don't remember this time as much. Does Jeff remember anything or any uh, of you? I I, re- I remember that we didn't do. A, I mean, we we killed those guards up front, and uh, we went back in the thing uh, in, into the warehouse. We I cast a, a fart spirit that went into the door. <laughs> And knocked out three drug addict, like, kind of, like, workers. And then two guys escaped, and there was a seam in a, in a wall that was clearly a door that they had used to escape from. So we are either in pursuit of them, which I imagine we are. If you just play, like, synth music while you do this. <laughs> is is DeMarge here? DeMarge oh, is DeMarge here? Jesus. Is DeMarge? No, DeMarge? Going once? No, DeMarge. <laughs> oh. What are we going to do? We, we, need, we need our eye in the sky. We need that. We need that. Can, so, can somebody play Demarge? Spencer, that's your call. Hey, I don't care. Who, 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 who knows Demarge? Wait, is that a gal? Oh yeah, you, you are there. Let's, let's get a woman up here to play it. Yeah, you, you come on up. Well, her actual name is Meg Ryan on Oscar night. Go to the Oscars tonight. She wasn't invited. Oh. Who is this guy over there? What's going on over right. there? He's, ha- he's having a tough time over there. <laughs> my, my heart kind of goes out to him because at one point we were like, hey, what's going on? And then everyone looked at me and went, what? 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 Nothing's going on. It's not important. Uh, what? This is important. No. He's, he's okay. I mean, people come here to work stuff out, I guess. The, 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 the nine people sitting around you didn't come here to work anything out, but they're, I, I'll, I, I'll give them five bucks after I, the show. I, I feel like... I feel like we, we have the more like kind of baritone activated Adam Goldberg over there. Like <laughs> yes, he is like a. Yes. You did it to yourself. Spoken like an Adam Goldberg. Yeah. Do you know him? You're kind of talking to him like you know him. No, I don't know him at all. But I know who Adam Goldberg is, and so here we are. Are you on methadone? What's going on over there? It's Holy like it's shit. like if, uh, the Adam Goldberg forty five played at seventy eight. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you gonna pay attention to me? Meg, uh, Meg, is there a reason why you go by Meg and not Megan? I was a very young child when a small elementary school teacher said, "Oh, Meg Ryan, like the actress." And then they never and then let I got you. I got my BFA in acting, and so it's funny. Are you mad at me for asking? <laughs> I feel like you're going to hit me. No. If you were the first, it would be cute. If you were the 50th, it's still cute. And so you're 50th. So it's fine. I mean, you brought it up. You walked up I and did. you said, yes, really. I did. Okay. Well, this is going to be great. <laughs> cool energy. <laughs> Me I don't think it, to yeah, the I, yow. I, I, I misinterpreted her energy, too. I thought she knew that guy. I think she's just an assertive yeah. person. What, do you, what is your station in life? Do you, I, I hope that you are a forensics detective ah. uh, or a uh, DMV supervisor. I just play them on TV. It's fine. Uh, oh, you're an actor? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Your name's Meg Ryan? Yes. Good, good luck. Yep. <laughs> Not the first time I've heard it. There, there's a weird energy overall. I wonder if it's, uh, it's not a joke. I wonder if it's because everyone's kind of, everyone's grieving. There's like a sadness in the air, even if you didn't know sure. her. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Can, Every, we go back, kind of can, we, can we go back a bit? Not, not to make this about, about me, but um, <clears throat> that was a pretty good Alec Baldwin I was doing there. I have to say that was, that oh, was, that was, a, <laughs> that was a good it Alec was, Baldwin. It was great. I've never, it was great. I've never really <laughs> tried to do an Alec Baldwin that, like, in front of people. That, that's, I think I, I thought might you have, it was really Oprah, good. So. Pardon? I thought you should have done Oprah, Oprah, so there's that. Now you're on my dick. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Aaron. Not yet. Do you remember when we found out I do a pretty good Terrence Howard? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Which is the same, it's the same, it sounds the same. One as... of you three Negroes is going to step up. <laughs> it's a quote from Empire. And take over my record label. Wait, is he Irish? Ah, oh, he's Terrence Howard. He's... I take over my record I want you to do that song again, only do it like your mother was being shot. Didn't you, was it, am I mistaken, Dan, or did you do a John Malkovich for a while? Could you do a John Malkovich? No, I don't remember. Was that a shrub? That's a tough one, yeah. Try a John Malkovich. 
cold, <laughs> pain. I don't understand. Why are you asking me to do John Malkovich? I can't. That's not, that's not bad. You were you were halfway there. That's not. You know, <laughs> All right, yeah. so, so uh, are we recapped? Should we try this again, or should we just dive right into this motherfucker? You should, uh, well, do it with music. All right. <laughs> me do it, or you do it? I think you should you, do it. No, no, you do it. You did a great job. Spencer, it just needed music. And who's Meg Ryan playing? Uh, she'll be playing. Oh, God. Uh, and when Harry met Sally, she plays just oh. every woman. <laughs> uh, Everyone will and, have uh, what I'm having. Everyone will have what I'm having. Spencer, as, com- to the deli. as comptroller, I'm going to outrank you, Spencer, because I love when you do it, and I want to hear you do it for us, if you don't mind. So, All right. Here we go. So what happens? Wrong song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. Shadow Run. <laughs> I'm going to recap. Starting in the warehouse district, our heroes infiltrated and stuff. They stunned two guards indoors and then conspired to take out the three guards. But then a tear gas grenade went in the window and threw their plans awry. After killing the guards and setting off an alarm, they charged indoors where their target, Baldwin Brown, was no longer able to be found. But the rest of the gang, or enemies, were knocked out by a spirit that had a wife who made soup. <laughs> After stunning the guards, our heroes were left with a conundrum. Where was Baldwin Brown? What would they do? There they are. All right. Thank you, Spencer. All right. <laughs> are, are we all in that room with those machines? Yeah, you're all in this machine room. Uh, yeah, you're in the warehouse. There's a bunch of junkies. They're starting to get up. I mean, there's not a bunch. There's three junkies. They're shambling around. They're looking, looking around the open crates in the warehouse. Was, was I, I able to uh, successfully uh, convince them that everything was fine? Are they trusting us? Uh, they... They're not really paying too much attention. They're, they're probably, okay. they're probably going to go right into those crates and get more uh, better than life chips. Yeah, because yeah, they're, they're all druggy. They're... But they, they they don't seem to pose much threat to us I right I now. I remembered. I, I don't know how much is in my head when I'm that drunk, but I I I wanted to stun baton them and just keep the secure secure the scene here. Like 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 these guys who are wandering. All right. I just want to like stun each of them. What's uh What's your clubs plus uh plus agility? Bluff called. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Clubs plus agility. I mean, mostly I like dubstep. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't know what that phrase means. I just three. It says it's just a, clubs. Clubs agility says three for okay, a rating. So what's agility then? And my agility is five. Awesome. You. Uh, yep. You <laughs> you stun you stun one of the guys and then the the others they kind of freak out. Start S- running around in circles. Sit down, or it's going to get worse than life. I go up to them. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, uh, Nightblade, take it easy. I got this. I, I go up to them with my shot gloves, because my, my little fingerless punk rock gloves are actually electrified shot gloves, and I go, who we got? <laughs> uh, I, I, I grab each. I, I, are they close enough together to do both? Uh, no. Okay, I, then I go up and I, I, give, I give it to one of them right, right, in, right in the ass. All right, what's your, <laughs> what's your clubs plus agility? Uh, I have four. Uh, oh, it's, oh, it's eight plus four. All right. That's a lot. I know. All right. You also <laughs> stun the person. All right. He goes Twelve. down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay. <laughs> Nightblade, no, it is 12. I know, I know. That delay was a joke. It was so dumb, this, sorry. Uh, is this other guy, like, chastened by this? Is, 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 does he want to play ball? Is he still running around and being a Oh, bummer? he's freaking out even more. He's, he's at the door now. Nightblade, take this guy down. Uh, all right, I, I take him down. What does that mean? Well, what do you do? Here, you, you handle him, uh, uh, Hordegard. Who am I? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Figured it'll go faster since... Because I have, don't have a problem with killing people. Is that what it's about? No, because it's, it's your turn, I assume. <laughs> it, so that way it'll Under your special skills like on I'm your resume, do you have Norwegian accent? I'm worried about Baldwin. Uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, we're wasting time if Baldwin's escaping right now. Do not have the Norwegian, but I have the German, if you like the German. <laughs> Close yeah. enough. I have the German, yeah. <laughs> um, I have... 
Nothing interesting of any kind. Um, you don't have to do that. I, you, it sounds great. I just now I feel bad about pimping no, you see, out. No, see, see, now, now you've you put me great. on the spot. Now I have to do it. Oh, okay. You perfect. did it to yourself. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there actually is going to be a fight. I love it. <laughs> I've never been in a fight. Okay. <laughs> Neither have we're I. We're not, we're not, we're not in combat right now. We, anybody can go, right? Yeah. No, they're just. It's just all whatever. Do you know that Michael Keaton's original real name is Michael Douglas, and he had to change it? <laughs> Meg Ryan's real name is Margaret Hyra. Oh. You're welcome. Hmm. I thought about it for a stage name once. Hmm. <laughs> you love Meg Ryan. <laughs> you love her. Of course, well, she's you... America's sweetheart. No, a professor told me once. She told me I needed to remember that because it would be funny once. <laughs> Oh While boy. this is happening, I walk up and shock love the other guy that's running around. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he, uh, he, he, he dodges out of the way and runs out the door. Uh, for, uh, He's hor- gone. You got a junkie on the loose. Horty guy, uh, don't don't you have like mental powers? Can you? We're we're looking for this Baldwin Billy Jack guy. Like like we we, we, we this, this mission's a wash if we don't find this guy. We I don't seen think that's his name. But however, can I sense the room to see if he's in the area? Uh, you you sense you sense um it, a living a living person in the room, but you don't know where. Just in the general vicinity. Oh, he's hiding in that that that, that, that wall seam thingy right there. He's in the wall seam. We think it's a door. Yes. Uh yes. Yes, all right. I think we go to the door to open it. Does anyone want to have a gun on this person? Uh, I think we should all have a gun and be ready we for anything. We all should. Spencer, yeah. is can, I, can I sense who's on the other side of the door? Uh, you can't sense who it is. Let, let, right. me, let me go grab the junkie just in case. Okay. I, yeah, I was going to go. Fo- do you want to? S- I mean, my OCD is like this is junkie just running. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, dr- I'm going nuts now. Okay, so go, it's, go it's go like follow, a bad dream. So just him. stay by the seam and uh, do what you will. I'm going to grab the junkie. Yeah, I, I keep on doing what you were doing. It's working. I'm gonna thank you. I don't know if that was sarcasm, but <laughs> I, uh, I will. I'm gonna run after pursue the junkie. All right, you run out the door. Is anyone doing anything simultaneously? Or are you just gonna wait for that uh, to finish? I, I, I think we should all be ready to open that door and be ready for Baldwin in case he's got yeah. surprises for us. Yes, and I'm I'm currently uh, wearing security guard clothes, mm. and I am very charming. <laughs> and you guys have my permission to, while I'm running. I'm. Sim linking to say, you guys can t- t- go on with the shadow run without me. I just this is my own thing with the junkie. <laughs> it's just like I feel I'm the, I'm the guy that had to collect all of the secret <laughs> packages in GTA before I finish the A story. You know, I, I gotta unlock everything. I said the quicker you get that junkie and get back here, the better, Nightblade. I I agree, but just don't. I don't want to. My one of my biggest nightmares is you'll get to know me better, but like feeling like I'm the reason why. Uh, All right, we don't have time to pacify you, Nightblade. Uh, uh, we, we, go. We, we get it, but TikTok. I'm still. I'm. I'm. I'm multitasking. I'm saying this while I'm chasing the junkie. Okay. Uh, I don't. W- thank you. It's my, my ghost of my dad is in a Tom Cruise like hologram chip in my brain. So uh, the rest of you guys are opening this door, mm-hmm. swinging open the secret door. You are faced with two silver-looking barrels and nothing else. It looks almost the size of a closet. You hear a metallic whir as the barrels rise up into the air, and underneath them uh, a, a, a hostile-looking gun slash camera armature, some sort of sentry gun device. It uh, it starts whirring as if it's uh, about to about to shoot some fires. I dive out of the way. What's your uh, reaction plus, uh, what do you call it, intuition? Three plus seven total. Seven total. But also, I have, like, cat-like and all that shit, too. <laughs> is, that, is that sneaking or no? No, I... it's not. Uh, what do you, what's your armor? Armor is 12. All right. Sorry, everybody. You get hit in the armor, but it bounces off because it's armor. Yeah. The rest of you guys. No, you're right to applaud that. (laughs) The rest of you guys are just facing the sentry gun that's firing at Eve. Okay. Um, I... All right. I know know that... uh, Well, so it's a... There's there's a camera? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it's a joke. Okay. um, I'm going to uh, use my... um, Charisma, and uh, I'm going to look into the camera because I can't move very fast anyway. 
All right. I look into the camera. Hi. Uh, there's a deal we can make here. We are, uh, we're not lame. You're saying this while there's bullets flying around in the room? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do have, I'm still wearing, I still have that thing on, right? Underneath mm -hmm. my clothes. I have like yeah. armor on. I have like a bulletproof vest kind of. Okay. It's true. Um, wait, are you, you're not standing in front of the bullets though, no, right? Okay. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. Uh, if there's any response, you're not paying attention to one. You think it might just be one of those uh, like drone mounted guns, like not like controlled by anyone. Cool. Can I hide? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's only kind of firing in one direction, so you aren't really in any real danger anymore. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just gonna just gonna stand there and think about uh, groceries I have to buy later. I guess. <laughs> the the bullets run out of the machine, so it's done firing now. Phew. Hello. We're here to talk if you're done showing off your trophy, dick. It's just a small, empty, closet-sized room. And those two cylinders took off and left the, left the room? They kind of, it rose up and they were like hiding them, if that makes sense, you know? It was on top of the guns as they rose out of the ground. Oh, I got you, okay. Yeah. The Meanwhile, old gun turrets disguised as, uh, we'll be right with you. <laughs> Back in the junkies, the junkie is uh, he's running through the he's running to the door that you cut open with your your mono whip. Uh, what's your running plus agility? Probably like a million. Yeah. <laughs> running is running is or athletics running running. Athletics are. I think it's running. I though. mean, what do you even look at? You might not have running. Oh, it's a, so it's a skill. It would be a skill. Okay, I have yeah. running. It's uh, three plus two. Awesome. I'll tell you what that is later. <laughs> <laughs> you quickly chase him down and you grab him by whatever you want to grab him by. Where do you want to grab him? His junky scruff. You grab him there. <laughs> <laughs> He's grabbed. He's not very strong. Hey, whoa, 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 where's the fire? <laughs> Ugh, everywhere. I gotta get out of here. Hey, listen, just let me let, let me have a conversation with you. He's struggling. Oh, I wanna... <laughs> He's treading water. How'd you how'd you find out this was the place to get your uh, your chips um, on? My man Brown, man, he hooks it up for all the junkies. He really cares. Yeah, is he still uh, is he still hanging out with Stacy? What? There is no Stacy. <laughs> oh. I don't think you even know Baldwin. Uh, I... What's uh, what do you don't kill me? Why are you acting like you know Baldwin? You don't know him? I I didn't act like that. Also, I do know him. No, you don't. I'm gonna kill you for not knowing him. You can't prove you know him. Uh, uh, you're not proving uh, you know him enough for me to not kill you. You Baldwin, gotta prove you uh, know him. This is Baldwin I, on the on the on the com link. What's going on out there? It sounds like things are going bad. Hey, just get some information. <laughs> <laughs> we, have a, we have a cyber Goldberg out here. <laughs> I, lo I love that your uh, Jim Nightblade sounds like Bruce Willis as portrayed by Justin Roiland. <laughs> exactly. If you know him so good, where is he? He must have took off when that siren happened. The alarm, I mean, the security one. Where does he go, Nib Chips? Where does he go? <laughs> nib Chips! <laughs> I don't, I don't that's know. That's like man. the worst thing you can call somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Nib I don't chips. know. Honestly. Well, uh, why don't you say it again? into the microphone and then I punch him in the face <laughs> I knock him out I well guess. what's your uh, unarmed plus uh, oh strength? come on he's a junkie it's a uh, well you're you know you might not be a brawler by trade oh well I stun baton him okay I, well I, that, that let's just say that one yeah, works because you're touching him and it's I a am. taser it works yeah. he goes down to the floor okay I run back to my comrades to the sound of bullets what the hell is this a private party or am I invited? 
I just dodged a close one here, Nightblade, but it looks like the bullets have run out. I leave you guys alone for five minutes. Yeah, we didn't ask you to. We were pretty yeah. we're happy with that guy well, leaving. We I, heard what you did over there. I'm a completist. <laughs> I, I examine the room for other uh, like ways to get out, other doors. Uh, behind behind the barrels, you see another secret door. God damn it! I uh, I examine the barrels. They they look to be far too clean to actually store anything, and there's no labels. They look like decoy barrels. I'd like to sense to see if there's something beyond the barrels, since we are not missing. Uh, you you just sense that door. Other than that, you're not sensing nothing. Damn it! Well, it looks like he's not here. <laughs> right. I guess uh, we should just go home and uh, call it a day. I guess some shadow runs don't go the way you want them. <laughs> clomp, 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 clomp. Yeah. <laughs> and then we we all. Yeah, right. Can I can I <laughs> can I examine the barrels to see if I can uh, open them or see what's beneath no, no, them? The barrels were just hiding the gun. I think. I think those were right. just like decoy barrels to hide the weapon that that, that almost killed me. Yeah, that's what's under them. Yeah. Um, there's nothing in them. Actually, you can feel and by touching them, they're actually completely hollow and they're probably not holding anything. I go okay. and exam. I I, I, lis- I listen at the door and see if I can hear anything on the other side. You hear nothing. I is, is there a handle, a doorknob? Uh, nope, neither. Nightblade. Yep. Use your strength and knock this fucker down. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Chim Chimney? (laughs) (laughs) I I use my, I I kick, I kick the secret door. That's a door, right? (laughs) Yeah. That's got to seem like, I'm not going to kick it. It's probably, it's the future. It's not made of wood. Um, uh, I'll hurt hurt my foot, which is probably also metal. Um... (laughs) What, what would a nano whip, whip do in a situation like this? What, what if I were to open a can of nano whip? Yeah. <laughs> nice, delicious nano whip topping. I, I stand back in case things go wrong. <laughs> All right, they do not. You slice open the door, revealing daylight outside. Well, evening light outside. It's the it's just the compound. It leads to the out of doors. There's Shit. a fence with all sorts of holes and stuff. It looks like he must have booked it out of there. Um, <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, got, I, big Baldwin, big, out. He, big Baldwin Brown yeah, fan. He's rooting it. for the bad guy. I, uh, I, I look, I look out um, outside of the hole onto the street to see if there's like any, I don't know, sign, crumbs, footprints. Um, there are footprints leading to a specific hole in the fence, but they go t- right to a, a sidewalk street outside the fence. So it's like he's going to a sidewalk, and then all traces vanish. Can Hortigard, Hort, can, can you, like, look around and see if he's uh, r- sensed anywhere? You're reading my mind. I thought it was my gig. Ah, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yes, I was going to ask if I couldn't sense where he went from this hole in the fence. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think you have any senses like that. Hmm. I'm going to go to, the, uh, to the, the, the man that was knocked out by Nightblade. Uh, which one, I guess, right? <laughs> Uh, the, the one that was out in the... The one that, that looks uh, the least unconscious. Okay. You find one that's semi-conscious. Okay. Um, using my uh, uh, charisma and persuasion, I, uh, I lift up his face. Hey, honey. Hey. 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 Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I got shocked. Oh. <laughs> oh. I know, that's hard. That's hard when that happens. Yeah. Um, I'm 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 here to help you. I'm an angel. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, we're uh, that th- we're trying to find um, your friend Baldwin. It's really important that you tell us where he is. Can you tell me? Can you tell me anything about where he stays or any hideouts, sweetie? Uh, just here. He was just here. Yeah. Do you know? Does he have any restaurants he likes, or <laughs> do you know where he lives? Or no, anything? I barely know him. I just buy drugs off the guy. Oh, honey, I, I I smack him in the face and move to the next one. <laughs> I, I I summon an eagle to, to to fly through the sky to see if we can see any sign of Baldwin uh, on escape. All right, what's your uh, conjuring plus uh, magic there? Uh, my, uh, first, I, I activate my uh, my spirit focus for spirits of air, which gives me an extra thing, and then my conjuring is it's summoning. It's five 13. plus what? Magic. Uh, so eleven plus two. That's thirteen. Yep. 
You summon. Wait, what force spirit do you want to summon? Uh, uh, an eagle. No, what force? Pick oh, a number. Oh, oh, uh, uh, force four. All right. All right. You take four drain damage as it comes into the ether. It's it's an exerting work, pulling multiple spirits to the metaphysical, the regular physical. I thought my other spirit went away. It sure did, Dan. Not Dan. Jeff. <laughs> It sure did, Jeff. You, well, so why you is don't that, even know the difference between us. Why, I don't know. Why is Never that multiple have. spirits? Uh, that's a, uh, I, just, I, I just took I took a lot of drain on that eagle. Yep. All right. I, I look at the eagle and I'm a little woozy and I say, "Eagle, fly. Look, look for Baldwin Brown. He's a balding guy who looks like this and that and whatever. Take it to the sky and see if you can find him, Eagle." I will leave. <laughs> can, we, can we have the voice of the eagle be the drunk guy over there? It's just like, can he just be? You don't like my voice that I did. Is that, uh, is that my, what you do? I, I want to do my voices. Do, oh, my sorry, spirits. sorry, yeah, do your voices. <laughs> you usurp yeah. my eagle voices? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry Jeff. I don't want to. You already made my, my, my other spirit a fart the other day. Well, you, you made it a fart. No, I didn't make it a fart. It was a wind. It was a spirit of wind. Oh, sorry. While, while this stuff is happening, also, I'm gonna. I, I for my part, I'm gonna go see if I can gather from the crates where those junkies were headed. I was gonna do. A, I'm gonna try to pick up the. Secondary goal, which is gather as many of these BTL chips. All right. There's, there's way too many chips. Uh, also, the spirit takes off quickly to follow your instructions. Nightblade, I think there's a... Isn't there a truck in there? There's two semi-trucks, and there's just multiple dozens of crates. We might be able yeah. to load up these trucks and take them out that way. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so while the spirit is uh, out, out uh, scouting around, let, let's load these... Uh, let's find as many crates of the BTLs and load these trucks up. Let's you, do it. You do cool. that. You load uh, 12, tw uh, no, 25 BTL boxes onto the semi truck. All right. Okay, I'm at the, I'm at the, the next uh, guy. All right, and I'm going to use con. Mm -hmm. All right, and I, I, I rouse him. I'm going to try something different. All right, what's your con plus charisma? Uh, my con is uh, nine. Well, it says six, and then Plus in parentheses, three. nine, and, and charisma. Uh, my charisma is seven. All right. Okay. All right. Hey. W what are you saying? Hey. Hey, you dumb piece of shit. <laughs> hey, wake up, fuck up. Wake up. <laughs> wake the fuck up. Well, that's intimidation, though. Oh, sorry. Well, okay. Sorry, sorry. Hey. Uh, hey, do you know, do you know wh where your mom is? What? No, what? I said, do you know where your mom is? She's dead? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know where your dad is? Uh, the bar? Uh, no. No, he's, uh, he's not at the bar. Oh, fuck. Your, your dad is on the other side of town facing a rat king. His tails are uh, metal. We've tied him up. And he's almost dead, motherfucker. Just like you, get your fucking life together. Now, where's Baldwin, and I'll save your dad? I don't know. I got knocked out early. I slap him. Tell me anything. I, I, I wet my bed. Fucking dumb piece of shit. Tell me something about Baldwin. Give me a picture. Yeah, I got a... Here, here I, I don't... Why is this in my pocket? I have a picture of him right here. Uh. He hands you a picture. I uh, I take the picture and I and I put it put it in my pocket. I uh, just I don't kill my dad. <laughs> All right. Maybe I won't kill your dad. Thank you. But I'm gonna watch you. And I take out one of my tracking tags. Mm -hmm. And I and I open his jaw, and I stuff it in his mouth, and I close his mouth. And I say, my name is Mercy O'Donnell, motherfucker. <laughs> I got eyes like diamonds, but they sharp. <laughs> oh. oh, well, okay. Aaron McGaffey, everybody. All right. <laughs> I guess she... Yeah. I didn't okay. know it was that easy. I, 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 did, I didn't know you could do that. It's uh, the beauty of the imagination, Dan. No. You, what, okay. I mean, did, does she die when that happens? Like, is it like, it's like a Bruce Willis surrogate? It just goes... She's no. back. If it's too embarrassed, I'm embarrassed, but I do want to come back. 
Sorry. All right. We're all going through stuff. We're all grieving. We all grieve in different ways. So all that work, you got, you got a picture of a guy that we already know what he looks like. Well, you didn't know exactly what yeah, he looked like. Did, did, didn't we see him on a screen? We saw him on a screen. I don't know. Maybe. I think maybe. we did. Yeah. We, a while back, the, our, our contact, our, our Mr. Johnson showed him. Well, Someone so I look at the us. picture. Is he doing anything in the picture, like standing in front of his mailbox with an address or anything? Um, you know, the pictures that we all carry with us and give to people. No, he's just, it's like, in, it's, uh, it's the interior of a bathroom. Oh, okay. Can I use perception to know where that bathroom is? Uh, he, he and what try. is he doing in the bathroom? He's just taking a picture in the mirror, selfie stuff. Hmm. Um, what, what's your perception plus uh, intuition? I'm so sorry. I took my folder and I left it in the green room. Well, <laughs> you can't find out where his bathroom is located then. By, okay, by that's visual fair. No, that's cues. fair. That's fair. I don't think you could anyway, to be fair. Yeah, okay. I mean, even if you saw really well. Okay. It, it was worth how empowered I felt for that 30 seconds. <laughs> this, this embarrassment right now. So the, the semi-truck's all loaded up. The spirit hasn't come back. It's only been about five minutes. Anybody got a Class C license? <laughs> I, I never learned how to drive. I lived in the woods for so long. It's Class C trucks. Uh, no, that's normal that's style. That's normal, isn't it? Yeah. So Class A, is, a, is that a snowmobile or is that a... <laughs> I think Class B is small trucks and then Class A is like all the cool trucks and the hover cars. Does hardware help with that or software? Uh, no, it would just be driving. Ah. Oh. I ain't got that. <laughs> I think Hortigard knows how to drive. Hortigard. Driving? No. Hold on. Hush. I don't know if I like this guy or if I don't like this I, guy. I, I, I don't think I, I do. Nope, nope. Don't think I like him. Nope. Um, the answer is no. Oh, the, 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 the island has voted you off, it's, sir. It's on, it's on this page. Is it? All right. Let's just pretend you can. All right, Where I are we going to drive, drive to? Any, uh, I volunteer to drive the truck. Right. Classy, you said? One yes, of us I can certainly that. drive a truck. Yeah, Hortigard, yeah. Okay. All right, but before you can... Oh, yeah, uh, you have ground pilot. Is that driving? Yep. <laughs> ground pilot. That's the same? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mercy. Oh, right. it's not a hover car. So much no, I'm going to sit on my, my high floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit with Mercy. That's nuts, but that's Shadowrun. Okay. Are you guys actually doing space work with the... You, you're now you're in the yeah. truck. I'm in the truck. Okay, I'm well, driving as a classy truck. Right, well, That's what don't, you wanted from let, me, isn't it? I'm I'm in the back, but so yeah. there's like a split screen. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm, so I'm, it's, I'm, so okay, I'm in the so, back too. So her uh, her uh, her ground pilot is four. Ground pilot is four, and and the I'm sorry, what was the other thing? Initiative. Initiative. Oh no. No. Just reaction. Oh, uh, reaction is seven. Awesome. Where are you Lovely. going? Where are you guys? What are you doing? I and there's also only two people in the vehicle. Are you guys going to get well, in? I mean, I, we, we I'll can get, get in the back of the I'm truck. The, I'm getting the back. But where are we going? And I got I got a bird flying around out there. Oh, we're going to take it back to the rusty bucket. <laughs> was, was, uh... You're supposed to take it to the neutral drop zone. However, you don't know the location of the neutral drop zone at the moment. Oh, shit, we got to check in with the Johnson. Mercy, uh, you're a contact. Why don't you contact Mr. Johnson? Say we got the BTLs. What's the deal with your spirit? What is it? Uh, he, he was, uh, my, my, my eagle spirit's looking around for for, for uh, Baldwin to see if he can find him escaping on foot or in car or something like that. Is he a real eagle? Okay, no, I it's use a, it's a spirit it's eagle. Like, it's a so Lord if he, eagle. Lord of the Rings. I, right. I use. <laughs> I use my, um, I'm so sorry, I'm not doing a bit. My Selby, what is the phone called? Comlink. Comlink. Comlink? No, link. Comlink. Like dot com is a web link. Comlink. Yep. Comlink. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I use that. Um, I, and I, uh, I call the Johnson. Oh, you don't have his number. You have Teddy's number, though. He's the guy who put you in touch with the guys. Pardon, I call Teddy. All right, Teddy's like, "Hey guys, how's it going?" <laughs> uh, okay, uh, best wish mission that I can remember. Also the worst. Awesome, you found the you found Baldwin yet? You ready to go to the neutral drop zone? Uh, funny about that. Uh, we have not found Baldwin per se. 
Hmm. We have seen signs of Baldwin. Do you know where we may find him? Uh, That's our job. I could ask, but I don't know. Uh, And... (laughs) I'm joking. Uh, well, uh, obviously we'll find him. But uh, where's the uh, where, where's the N- NDZ? I'm sending B-R-O. you the location of the neutral drop zone. You should be getting it on your comm links. Cool, cool. Tell, tell Did you finish hanging that shelf? What? All right, see you. Bye. Tell him. <laughs> Okay, so I got the link to the drop zone. Bleep blorp, yep, it arrives on your comm link. <laughs> I, uh, I show it to Har- Hortigard and we... I show, I show it to Hortigard. You do that, and you guys want to drive? Yes. Okay. I, we drive to the neutral drop zone. You yeah. drive to the neutral drop zone, but what will be there? Out there? Cliffhanger! Oh! Oh! Meg Ryan! It's the end of Shadowrun and Harmontown. Thank Meg Ryan for coming up here. It's been a busy night for her. Thank our other uh, audience guest, Lana. What did you say? What? We had Lana. We had Dino Stamatopoulos. Uh, of course we had Dino, yeah. Spencer Crittenden, Aaron McGathy. I'm Jeff Davis. Your mayor is Mr. Dan Harmon. Our technical director back there is Chris. Last, last Namerson. Justin Marshall's back there uh, pulling the strings like a... Best cliffhanger in the world. We're all in the truck, and we didn't accomplish our mission that well. Got a bird flying in the sky, but we're driving away from him, so maybe I'll never see that bird again. Well, we spent more time knocking druggies out than accomplishing our task. We didn't do what the people said. We didn't do anything that they asked. Family! We got in a car. We're driving to we don't know where. Now she's got a picture of a guy in her underwear. All right, let's break it down. Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop till you stop. Hip hop and then you stop. Hip hop until you stop. Oh, look who it is. Hop, hip hop. Oh, hop, it's MC John. Everybody put your hands together for MC John. My name is MC John. At the Oscars on the lawn. Trimming hedges looking on at all the stars before they're gone. In the Morium, Robin Williams is gone. We loved him. It's sad. I'm MC John. I'm sad. We've lost some friends this year. I'm MC John. A tear's coming down my cheek. I'm going to use it this week to learn about all the things that real people know. <laughs> Family. Good night, everybody. Thank you for coming. Did you get any of that? It's a good show!